Guys, we have a massive issue. I have brought a lot of books this month. Hey guys, my name is Kirsty, and today I am bringing you my September book haul. As I said at the beginning, there are quite a lot of books to get through, so I'm not going to be going through the synopses because, yeah, there's a lot. 13, which is a lot for me because most months I literally just buy five. September has been a really, really good month for book releases. It just kind of happened. I mean, I did get some for half price. I did get some from the charity shop that I work at for like 150 and then some of them I just paid full price for. Yay! So without any further ado, let's just let's just get into it. So the first book that I have is Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Mass and this is the UK paperback edition and in this Waterstones edition there was some fan art there. I haven't actually read Throne of Glass series yet. I don't know who Kaol is, what he's got to do with the story or any of that, but since I have the rest of the series, I thought better get Tower of Dawn just so it's all finished off and ready to marathon and by the time I get to this one, there'll probably be another six books out, but oh well, it's fine. I own it so it's all good. This one follows Kale's perspective. I think that when Empire Storms like happens, it's what Kale was doing during that whole book, which I wouldn't know about. Second book is one that I am really excited to read, and that is My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. Grady Hendrix is the author of Horror Store, which is a horror story set in an alternate version of Ikea. And this one looks like some kind of 80s horror TV show. And what I love about this is the cover because as you can see in the, at the side, it looks like it's a used book, but actually it's just been designed that way to look old. It just looks absolutely amazing and I can't wait to get into it. And I'm guessing it's about a best friend's exorcism. Second one is a book that I'm a bit apprehensive about and that is they Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I'm apprehensive about this because I read History Is All You Left Me and I wasn't actually a big fan of it. You can read my review of History Is All You Left Me and I'll leave like a link to it in the description box below. But yeah, I'm a bit I'm a bit wary about this one. I'm pretty sure you all know what this is about now because if you watch booktube videos, this has been everywhere. So it's about this app called Deathcast and they tell you the day you're gonna die and it's about these two guys they both get the phone call saying, look, you're gonna die today. And it's about these two guys, they meet up and they're like, you know what? Let's make the most of our last day together. They both die at the end, I'm guessing. The next two books are the same book, but just in different editions. And that is Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. So I have the UK paperback edition here. And then I have the limited edition hardcover and it's also signed and it's got like naked, it's got the Wonder Woman sign. I brought this because I watched the Wonder Woman film in the cinema and I pretty much cried from start to end because it just made me so happy to see a female superhero on the screen. Because I love superhero movies. So I was just really glad to see a female superhero, finally. So I brought it. I actually haven't read any of Lee Bardugo's books yet. I have all of the Grisha books. I have Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom but I just haven't read them. But I do really, really, really want to read this one. And it just makes it even better because there's a whole series of DC icon books coming out. Marie Lou is writing the Batman one, I think. Um, and Sarah J Maas is writing the Catwoman one. I'm very, very excited to get to this one. I don't know which one I'm going to read, the hardcover or the paperback. Next one is one that I got the other day and I pre-ordered this from Amazon months, 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 months ago. And that is God's Grave by Jay Chris stuff this is a signed first edition so we've got Jay's signature there this is the second book of the Nevernight trilogy what I don't know what it's gonna be if it's gonna be a series trilogy quartet I don't know but this is the American hardcover edition that is the UK cover here this poster and I haven't read Nevernight yet so I'm just 
I don't know. This is what I seem to do. I just seem to buy sequels and, you know, the rest of the books in the series to the first books that I haven't read yet. So, yeah, but I bought it because it was pretty and the cover makes me happy and it was a signed first edition. The story just seems like something that I'd be really interested in. The next one is King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. This is the third book in the Red Queen series. Again, I haven't read Red Queen or Glass Sword or the novella, which is Cruel Crown, I think. Haven't read any of them, but again, just wanted to finish off the series just so I can marathon them if, when I ever get round to reading them. I don't have to wait. I had to wait until it came out in the smaller version because when they first come out, they're like the tall paperback versions like that. And since I have the normal size paperback for Red Queen and yeah, the other one, I completely forgot what it's called, even though I said it like 10 seconds ago. I thought I'd wait until I get the small paperback version of this one. Then I have five. Fireblood by Ellie Blake and this is the second book in the Frostblood series. Again, I haven't read Frostblood. This video is going to become very, very repetitive, isn't it? Like, I can just tell that it's books, all books that I haven't read before that are in series and I do have an arc of Frostblood. I do have the audiobooks of both Frostblood and Fireblood. So, to be honest, I don't really have an excuse to not read them soon. Hopefully, I'll get around to them. But this cover is absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to read it. Next one is a new release, and that is Invictus by Ryan Gordon. And he is the author of Wolf by Wolf, um, which is kind of like a historical fiction novel. And this is a dystopian about a time traveler, and it looks really interesting. I love the cover, I love the shininess of it. This looks really, really good, actually. Next one is the second book in a series, and that is One Dark Throne by Kendara Blake. And I haven't read Three Dark Crowns yet, so many people are telling me that I need to read Three Dark Crowns because it's absolutely amazing. But then I've also had other people tell me that it's not really that good and it was quite disappointing. So I don't know what to do, which is why I haven't read it yet because I'm having a lot of mixed opinions thrown at me. But you know, I have about 400 books on my bookshelves that I haven't read. Oops. Mom, if you're watching this, please don't yell at me. Please. It's fine. Books are my addiction. It's okay. Yay. Next one is Sweet Freak, and this is by Sophie McKenzie, who is the author of Girl Missing, which I read when I was in, like, year nine. I think. This is about a character who gets trolled on the internet and she wants to find out who it is that's online bullying her and she thinks it's her best friend and it's all this kind of trouble and friendship. The main character and she wants to expose who Sweet Freak, who is the online troll, she wants to expose who Sweet Freak is and kind of get justice. I actually got this from the works because they, like the works have this whole three books for five pound offer and I couldn't find any of the two books to buy in the offer but this was 2 dollars so that's just a really, really good deal. Next book is the second book in a series, and that is A Torch Against the Night by Sabi Tahir. Again, I had to wait until the paperback version came out because I have the paperback version of Ember in the Ashes. Haven't read Ember in the Ashes, but again, at least like a marathon read. Yay, this isn't a guilty smile face at all. But the covers are gorgeous, and the premise sounds amazing of both of the books. And the last book is one that I'm a bit apprehensive about because I've never read anything like it before and I brought this from the charity bookshop that I work at and the book is Bone Shaker by Cherie Priest and this is like a steampunk book and I've never read a steampunk novel before. I am very very apprehensive but Cassandra Clare has blurbed it and she said this exquisitively imaginative steampunk adventure is a joy to read my favourite of Cherie's books. It looks interesting and it's floppy which makes it even better and the writing it's not black you won't be able to see it on the camera but it's like a brown color and then on the chapter headings there is like little steampunk goggles there's like inventors and crusades quests criminal overlords so that looks really interesting so those are the books that i brought in september and it's not even the end of september yet it's the 26th but i don't have any plans to buy any more books at all like that's it that's that's what i'm buying but 13 books this month is not good 
good. Again, mum, if you're watching, I am so sorry. Please don't yell at me. I love you. But no, I got good deals for most of them. I actually didn't spend as much money as it looks like, but it was still more books than I wanted to. But September was just crazy for new releases, and I didn't even buy the, the brand new releases that I'm really hyped up for, like The Language of Thorns and The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Reading. I didn't buy any of those. But that is the end of my September book haul. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you got any comments questions leave them in the comments box below and i will reply to every single one of you i do post videos mondays tuesdays and fridays but i do have a lot of videos that need to be up before the start of october so there's gonna be quite a few videos going up at the end of september so if you do want notifications for when new videos come up just click on the bell icon below and you'll receive like an email or alert or whatever to say that i've release a new video. That is all I have to say. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!